matters of investment as the head of innovations at the UNDP, Innocent Ejolu has revealed that granting innovation ideas suitable for recovering the tourism industry after the slap of COVID-19 is what is ideal at this particular moment. The, e comments come, the comment comes at a time when the European Union and the Aga Khan Foundation handed out a combined 150 million Uganda shillings to micro, to micro grant to 15 entrepreneurs in the world of tourism. The 15 tourism entrepreneurs and innovators were selected as winners of a pitch competition at the conclusion of a three-day search for economically sustainable tourism-related businesses. We do have a report. Let's take a look at the details. Many are called, but few are chosen. Fifteen entrepreneurs have won 150 million Ugandan shillings in investment through a youth entrepreneurs competition for tourism innovation and COVID-19 recovery response. So as Aga Khan Foundation, we, Aga Khan Foundation Uganda, we've partnered with them to make sure that we support them, of course, in this journey, especially after COVID-19, and also to make sure that at least they are able to recover. So in this way, we are trying to build resilience. We are also trying to build coping strategies that are realistic and that are sustainable. 20 aspiring entrepreneurs were pitted against the clock to pitch their ideas in three minutes to a panel of judges for a chance to win cash prizes ranging from 5 million Ugandan shillings and 15 million Ugandan shillings. Innovation Fund Challenge uh, has an amount of 150 million and uh, of the 15 companies we shall uh, group them in two categories and all of them at least will walk away with some of that money. And besides the financial support, the entrepreneurs will be offered financial literacy support and mentorship through their umbrella association of young Uganda tour operators. We've also done a bit of uh, capacity building, especially in business development. Uh, they have gone through a series of trainings um, for the last two months. Uh, they have been at least well guided on uh, business development. And ideally, you know, even the few that will not be, you know, awarded, at least they have gone away with a skill on how to at least improve their business. Kisa Rita, co-founder Janam Safari Trekkers, is the winner of the highest cash prize of 15 million Ugandan shillings. Her idea, building a regional network of natural and cultural heritage sites and tourism facilities within Pakwach in northern Uganda. We have the Luo Cultural Trail which will speak into detail the story of Dupira and Labongo right from when they separated at um, Povongo to the different areas forming the different Luo tribes and it will be a detailed trail showing the stops, what happened there, the formation of the tribes, the intermarriages and what generally came out of them. Masi Pasi, founder of Kampala Guides and final year student at Chambago University was the first runners-up in the competition. He has built a visual tour guiding mobile application that uses audio sounds and visuals to guide tourists around Kampala. The app visualizes tourism attractions in Kampala. It major, it's majorly an audio guide. An audio guide whereby if you are in traffic jam, you can access tourism sites remotely, you can access tourism sites audiocally, and you can be guided by an audio wherever you are in your sitting room and your bedroom. Rather than traditional tour guiding involving a physical person, Kampala Guide helps tourists get all information about the antiquity, futures and historical significance of a tourist site. Pasi says the grant will be a nice breaker moving forward. Uh, I won 14.5 million to start up my project and going to make sure I implement the innovation so that we can promote tourism and domestic, domestic tourism in Uganda. As the country transitions from the traditional wildlife-centered tourism products, there is a need for diversity in tourism product offering, and the competition offered just that, according to Innocent Jolu of United Nations Development Program. In uh, recovering from COVID-19, it's important that we work towards uh, a resilient uh, tourism uh, industry and this is not going to be possible uh, if we do not um, broaden the scope of products that we offer 
to attract the investment we need to rebuild the tourism industry. So this innovation challenge is very important because it's positioning the young Ugandans to think, to innovate and build products that can attract financing. So Robert Ndiamhachi for BTM News today.